Hello everyone, this is Daniel and Kelly from fitnessmo.com and today we are going to be talking about what is the best time to work out. So the truth is, is that there is no one real universal time that works best for everyone. You have to take things relative to your own situation into account, including your schedule, your energy levels throughout the day, as well as your motivation levels. And that's pretty much it. So we'll uh, talk, no. The end. <laughs> <laughs> really though, there is a lot of different things you need to take into account because Everybody is a little bit different as far as what time of day they feel most comfortable f uh, exercising as far as their overall strength levels, their energy levels, all that kind of stuff. But you also have to weigh that out with what your day looks like, how where you can actually fit it in most efficiently and actually get it done. Because exercising, at least at the very beginning when you're uh, brand new to it, it is more about habit than it is about whether or not you're getting uh, the most effective workout. Right, so you wanna consider all of these things so that you're setting yourself up for success. You want to make it uh, the most likely scenario that you're going to show up for your workout. Because mm -hmm. that's ultimately the most important thing about when you're going to do it is when are you most likely to actually do it. Um, after that, the hour, uh, that you're actually doing the exercising is, I mean, it's a moot point compared to whether or not you actually show up and do it. Right. For example, uh, Kelly and I typically work out first thing in the morning. I absolutely detest working out first thing in the morning. I feel weak. I feel really, really lethargic. I don't feel like I have enough energy, but that is the time of day that I can get it in and not have to worry about, you know, getting uh, replaced by some other work emergency right, that's happened to show up. up. Yeah, there's I something always. always. Right. And I like working out in the morning because I feel like um, it sets my mood for the whole rest of the day. I feel more positive, more upbeat. My energy is boosted. Um, I can focus better. I have uh, managed my nervous energy better, so my stress level is lower. Um, and it brings, in my opinion, the the idea of healthy eating and the connection with your own body and kind of focus on just living healthily to the forefront of your mind so that when you make your choices for lunch, dinner, snacks and all this, you make smarter choices because you've already kind of had that, that relationship with yourself where you're like, oh, I need to treat myself well because I want to feel good when I run, when I lift, when I do hit, all that. You're, you're more in tune with your own body. Or if you're like me, like, no, I worked out today. I can go and have a beer with, with dinner yeah. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I was always like, you got to earn it. <laughs> but yeah, really. So the, the main thing is, though, we're going to do a real quick rundown of the typical times of day that most people work out and the pros and cons of each one of those. And then we'll let you kind of decide what is going to be the best fit for you. Yeah. So, and of course we want to hear from you guys too. I mean, yeah. we know something different works for everybody, so speak up. Yeah, and uh, when we're done, uh, make sure you uh, add your comments in the comment section below because you might have an idea about how to put things together that we haven't thought of yet. So always, this is a community effort, so <laughs> <laughs> make sure that uh, we're always sharing with each other to get the best information across for everyone. So the, the quick rundown is typically, okay, number one, first thing in the morning, okay? This one is uh, usually the easiest to get done because nothing's really happened in the day yet. Uh, you can kind of set aside a little bit of specific time just for yourself to get that work uh, that workout in. Uh, but there are some things you need to be aware of. When you're working out first thing in the morning, uh, depending on how soon it is right after you wake up, your core temperature is going to be lower. You're going to be much, much less flexible because your body hasn't warmed up yet. You've been uh, healing your, your body over the course of the night, so you might have a little bit of um, uh, reduce range of motion, that kind of thing, from just overall um, repairing of ligaments and tendons and muscles and all that kind of stuff. So you need to make sure that if you're working out first thing in the morning that you take a little bit longer to do your warm-up. So it's going to be really, really important to get in a very, very comprehensive warm-up to make sure that you're not going to injure yourself during that workout. So we already listed what we feel are the many benefits of working out first thing in the morning. Other than the cold muscles that you're going to want to make sure to warm up especially thoroughly on, there's also the issue of what you're going to eat or if you're going to eat at all. So personally, I think what works best for me is I eat a couple hundred or a few hundred calories worth of a, a snack. A first thing in the morning, a uh, fruit or a, a couple of nuts or peanut butter, and then jump right into my workout. But other people like to work out very first thing in the morning. If you're into fasted cardio, you might find that the duration and the intensity of your workout may be affected. But again, if that's something that works for you, it works for you. So it's kind of hard to argue with. It's, it really is different for everybody. So as far as the next most typical time frame of exercising, for uh, most people, especially those who have a regular day job, lunch is your, your next uh, option. So 
A lot of people have really short lunches, so that just it takes it out completely. But if you do have a long life lunch hour that you can get a workout in, you want to make sure that you are uh, working out before you eat or eating at least two hours before you work out. So eating your lunch really early in the morning because you need to make sure that all that uh, food is actually digested before you start into your workout. Otherwise, then that becomes another issue with uh, lowering your overall ability to, to get your workout done. But the positives are, if you work out over your lunch break, you can actually uh, wake yourself back up if you're bored at work. <laughs> you can actually improve your cognitive abilities by doing your exercise. And so when you go back to work, you can actually get your work done more efficiently because your brain has been kind of woken up by that physical activity. So again, there are some pluses and minuses to that. A lot of it depends on whether or not you actually have the physical time to uh, squeeze in a lunch and a, a workout. And you can always eat your lunch at your desk if that's an option and use your, your lunch half hour hour to actually get your workout in. So a lot of people find that they get their best workouts in at the end of the day or in the evening. And this is another option that's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, some of the perks are, again, like we just said, your energy might be highest at this time. Um, you have a day full of good nutrition behind yourself, hopefully, so you can really uh, push yourself hard during your workout. You are talking about hopefully the end of the day where you're done with work and you can blow off all the stress that you just went through through the day. Um, so that's a great thing. The only disadvantage is that when you're putting it off further in the day like that, like we said earlier, especially if you don't have that high self-efficacy of knowing that you are sticking to this routine, which right. is the benefit of doing it in the morning, um, there's a chance that procrastination or sluggish motivation, like these things come into play and it just becomes a little more likely that maybe you think about uh, skipping your workout. Like Daniel said, things come up and they always seem more important and more pressing than a workout, which is so easy to put off until tomorrow or skip until the next day. And then before you know it, that's happened <laughs> over the course of days and weeks and then months and that's the slippery slope. So, but I mean, as long as you know that you stick to your routine, then working out in the evening is just fine. So some other things to keep in mind when doing your workout in the evening is you need to make sure that, again, you work out before you eat your dinner. Or if you eat dinner first, you have at least a couple of hours before you do your workout to make sure, again, that you're digesting your food properly because that can actually have a negative effect on your workout. With that said, if you're working out before your meal, you want to make sure you take in a little bit of, of food uh, just to give yourself a little bit of energy to get your workout done. Um, a lot of this can actually have effect on your overall ability to convince yourself to do that workout. So if you're hungry, you're going to be like, hey, no, nope, hey. I'm going home. Yeah. So uh, that, that is definitely something you need to keep in mind when uh, deciding to work out uh, right after work before dinner kind of a thing. If you're working out after dinner, make sure you keep in mind that exercise can actually wake your body back up. So if you're kind of winding down and you're supposed to be going to sleep within the next hour or two, that can have a negative effect on your ability to go to sleep quickly. And so, it does depend on what kind of exercise you're doing too yeah, though. Like if course. you're doing HIIT or strength training or running or something crazy, then you're going to possibly have a little trouble. If you're doing it any closer than an hour or two to when you're trying to sleep, that could be a problem. But Pilates, yoga, something really low impact, just stretching, these things are actually great to help you wind down mm -hmm. and help you get ready to kind of relax and sleep better. So this kind of just... Uh, goes back to the point of everything that you do, depending on the style of workout you do, the, the your lifestyles, whether you're a nine to five, whether you do a swing shift, whether you're a stay at home mom or dad, that kind of a thing. All of those things are going to affect when is going to be the best time for you to work out. I mean, if you're a stay, stay at home parent, then maybe the best time to work out is that small window when your kid actually is taking a nap or distracted watching yeah. a, a show or something like that. So you have to kind of plan your workout around that. So the long story short of this is you need to make sure you find the best time for you to work out. Then once you have a good habit built, you can start deciding, okay, can I shift this one way or another to, to make it a little more efficient for myself if you are really, really focusing on trying to get the most out of each workout. So really, this is just yet another question that comes back to our tagline that we repeat like broken <laughs> records, and that is listen to your body. And in this case, mm -hmm. also with a little asterisk, you need to also listen to your schedule. So <laughs> it's, it comes down to what works best for you. So take everything to account and really just line it up so that it, it's 
highly likely and everything, the odds are in your favor that you are going to stick to that workout. And you can't lose that way. So if you have any more questions for us, please leave them in the comment section below. If you have any comments on this uh, vlog in particular, please again, uh, toss them in the comment section below. We'd love to see them. Otherwise, we will see you guys next time. Bye. Your workout. <laughs> 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 go, it's an go, aggressive go, fly. Go, go, go. Is that is that there is I'm the truth is 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 Everybody I told look into the camera. No, too low. <laughs> too low. <laughs> you forget your ass? <laughs> yes. Cuz it's too slow. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs>